always, even when they have the ball. So lift the game whenever you go in, and the nice thing, have fun. You can do all of that and enjoy being a great player, enjoy being a great team. It's hard, it's six, seven games, but it's coming together. So Miss Kick literally started off in my mum's kitchen in Scalmersal where I grew up. It came about, like I said, because I wanted to create real change and to give girls something that they could wear and feel comfortable in. So we started off the brand just selling t-shirts with slogans on up and down the country in England. I was literally packing t-shirts and going to the post office by myself. Bag them all in. Oh look, more boxes. And um, we've even got a whiteboard now. My mum let me put this whiteboard up. I come from a very football crazy family. I think growing up in England, football is such a big part of your culture and my mum and my dad were always really passionate about me. Even though we didn't have lots of money, we, they were always really passionate about giving me opportunities. So I started off playing for like a local grassroots team. When I was growing up in England, there wasn't any girls teams. So my dad had to set one up himself. So we got all my friends together from school and we just played for the local grassroots team. And then when I was 13, I had the amazing opportunity to go and sign for Liverpool. So I played there for five years, incredible. Got to play with some of the rising stars now who are playing for the Lionesses. And then signed for Manchester City when I was 17. I've always just looked to the US and the US national team and just thought the way they present women's football or soccer as they call it here is incredible and for us as a brand to have a presence here was something I've always dreamed of and my friend of a friend was like you need to meet Scott Juniper, he's from England so importantly he understood what English football was like but also had his US hat on as well and so it was actually his idea to set up this team and he was like, Grace, if you want to get you know, your product on amazing players, you want to make a real mark, maybe do something a bit different, why don't you just set up a team in Southern California? I was like, let's go, let's do it. And yeah, really proud to be in the WPSL and for it to be a summer league and it's the biggest women's soccer league in the world, so why not start there and see where we can get to. I just had some bad news, actually and it was uh, the club that was uh, that hired me to work for, a, to run a women's team were no longer going to be able to fund it for different reasons. And that was the week Grace and I got chatting about how she might start, you know, growing her brand over here. And I just threw it out there and we talked a lot and so I've been learning a lot about her, her story and, and the company. It's, it's a big part of who she is, her experiences as a, as, as a young female player in, in, in the UK, growing up, dealing with a lot of the challenges that were there at the time and how the growth of the game didn't keep up with the growth of the players really so the opportunities disappeared and that is where her passion for building Miss Kit sort of started and then you know just when you meet her you kind of feel the passion that she has for it and it's a brand community that, that's growing fast advocating for, for women's soccer players and, and young girls playing the sport and slowly it just became obvious that this was such a great way for her to lay down some roots with Miss Kick in, in the United States. I'm excited to coach them all. We've got some great players, some really amazing players at all different levels and stages of their career. I'm Joanna Rosas, everyone calls me Jojo. Grace started it as a brand for women and it's grown exponentially and now she's trying to expand it out here in the US and what a great way to start that by doing it with the soccer team. Having Grace come back in, you know, knowing she's dedicated the last seven years of her life to a brand that she truly feels lacks recognition. That's something that I want to get behind.
I'm Annie Carrick. I'm 18 years old. Right now I play for Beach FC. It's a club out of Redondo Beach and I'm going to play for Santa Clara University in the fall. And it's really interesting actually talking to the girls and the ones that have been in the league for many years and seeing the difference in the changes that are happening now. It's drastic and probably a lot different than people even realize on the outside. When I was asked to play for Miss Kick, I knew that it was going to be a really great opportunity not only to play with some really great soccer players, but to get a group of girls who really cared about advancing the game um, and cared about women's sports in general and kind of be a positive force in the community on and off the field. Scott's talked a big game about these players. Um, so I came last week and was like watching them play and I was like, wow, like, these girls can play. So it was actually really funny because we decided on this idea to have a team and we had nothing. We didn't have a badge or a kit and we had four months to literally turn this whole thing around. So it was full steam ahead. So we have obviously the home of the away kit and it's all made from recycled materials. So it's all 16 plastic bottles go into every jersey, which I think is really cool. Um, the design itself, we've got palm trees in the orange kit because we're playing in Orange County, which is pretty cool. We have our quotes. And then the badge itself, the Miss Cook FC badge has got a little B on the inside, I don't know if you've noticed, and that's because Manchester, there's like a Manchester B, and that's a symbol for obviously where we're from in England. So a lot of thought's gone into it, um, which I think is cool, and that's how we like to do things anyway, and yeah, hopefully people have liked it. Being asked to play on Miss Kick's team was one of the biggest honors I've had in my playing experience. Just to be on a team that represents women the way this club does and this brand is, is really special for me. Two, three, Miss Kick! Women's soccer has really come up over the past few years and it's and people go. like Grace who see that change needs to happen and they're determined to make it happen and they actually do something about it and which also inspires all younger girls and women to do the same and really fight for what we deserve. For me, advancing the game is, is about all the little girls uh, you know, that are in the stands watching us play. Uh, if they can see one of us do something cool on the field and decide that, you know, hey, I want to be that girl one day, um, and we can kind of inspire them uh, to pursue something that they're passionate about, whether that's soccer or something else, um, that's kind of what that means to me. And I'm just so grateful to be here and to be able to experience this with such an amazing team and to have this opportunity. It's uh, mind-blowing. Yeah, I hope that it inspires other girls who might be thinking about playing football or setting up a business that it doesn't matter like where you've started, it's just about your mindset and like where you're going. Um, that's really important to me and I hope people see this and feel like they can go and achieve stuff as well. Miss Kick on three, one!